Good evening. Welcome to AP Business Minute. I'm Larry Handy. An appeals court has sent a record-setting asbestos case back to a lower court for a trial to determine whether Owens, Illinois, knew about the dangers of asbestos products to de and intentionally deceived their insurers. A 1990 ruling by a New Jersey judge said five insurance companies were liable for $960 million in coverage for claims stemming from Owens, Illinois' production of asbestos from 1948 to 1958. The Walt Disney Company now today, they plan to buy a Miramax Film Corporation, the privately held company which made the crying game and sex lies in videotapes. Miramax will become part of Buena Vista Productions, a wholly owned subsidiary of Disney. And a federal bankruptcy judge has met, set a hearing for next week to consider a $36 million offer from a Swiss firm for Piper Aircraft. Piper's attorneys asked the judge to accept the offer, but nine other bidders want a chance at the deal. And finally, the stock market advanced today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up nearly two points to close at 3,427.55. It was up over 30 points earlier in the day. The S&P 500 was up one point, and the NASDAQ was up three points. The dollar was mixed in New York against other major currencies. More news in an hour. Handy with the business brief. President Clinton is offering to cut $4 billion off of the $16 billion jobs bill in an effort to gain Republican support for the package. White House spokesman George Stephanopoulos says that among the items that will not be cut are road building, summer jobs for youth, small business assistance, and unemployment compensation. And biotech leader Genentech today reported a 400% increase in profits to $14 million in the first quarter. That amounts to 12.5 cents a share, up from 3 cents a share a year earlier. And finally, the stock market today rallied to an all-time high. The Dow Jones Industrial rose 22.5 points to 3,478.16. The S&P 500 was up a half a point, and the NASDAQ was off 3.5 points. More news in an hour. Coming up next on KUTV News AM, we'll hear what some Utah military pilots think about putting women in combat, Janet Reno defends her action in the Waco case. And after complaints from Utah consumers, we meet some undercover agents who give us a taste of door-to-door -door beef cells. All that next on KUTV News. Good morning, everybody. I'm Larry Handy. It's a minute after 6, and it's May 1st. Today in the news, Secretary of Defense Les Aspen officially issued an order that will put women into combat. Aspen said he was taking the historic step to ensure the best people are placed in every military job. And in Utah, Air Force Cadet Jody Hudson is ready for that challenge. She has already passed a strict physical exam and is qualified for flight school. Hudson has heard all of the war stories and says she is ready for anything thrown at her. One of Hudson's instructors says she is qualified, but he says women might have a tough time fitting into the traditionally male role of a fighter pilot. But Hudson says all she wants is a chance to prove herself. Utah Governor Mike Levitt was in Washington, D.C. Wednesday. He was there at President Clinton's invitation to discuss health care. Only nine governors were present at the informal meeting. Clinton plans to submit a national health care plan in, in a month or so. Levitt wants to have a state plan for Utah ready by next January. Levitt asked the president to leave flexibility for the states. Reports from the Capitol say the president's plan may require a big tax hike. Wednesday, congressional leaders warned that it will be hard to pass another tax increase for health care in addition to the new taxes the president has already proposed. We'll be right back after this word. <laughs> 